quiet on the promotion of the proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill until U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris came into town this week. A great deal of, of work in my career has been to address human rights issues, equality issues across the board, including as it relates to the LGBT community. And I feel very strongly about the importance of supporting uh, the, the, the freedom and, and supporting and fighting for equality among all people. That comment and the response by the president, Nane Kufadu, that suggested the bill had been watered down, has since triggered a reaction from Speaker of Parliament, Alban Babin. The bill will be passed. This is the way to His Excellency the President. There is no way he can intervene. That answer he gave. That is now before Parliament. And when he gets to a stage that he has to, he will come, in. hey, please. This is legislation, this is not execution. And now, after the Speaker dared the legal committee to not be afraid and present its recommendation on the draft bill, they have acted. At a review of the draft bill, the legal committee has recommended some changes to the bill in an 18-page document that is now due for consideration by the entire floor of the House. The bill will punish teaching or inducing a child into sexual acts other than what it calls the binary category of male or female or anyone who evokes the interests of the child in an activity prohibited under the act to not less than six years in prison and not more than 10 years in prison. The name of the bill has changed from promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values to human sexual rights and family values bill. Ranking member on the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Bernard Ahiafo, says the committee is determined to see through the passage of the bill. We are looking at the bill in that context, taking into account our cultural practices, our religious practices as enshrined in the 1992 Constitution. So I assure everybody that we will make sure the bill will come into law in a manner such that it will achieve its purpose and at the same time will not trample upon anybody's right. It remains to be seen how much of external pressure that the country can resist though. Already, President Tikufado's non-committal response on the subject during the press conference with the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris has drawn criticism from the backers of the bill. President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference, Most Reverend Matthew Jemfi, is quoted by the Catholic Trends website as saying the president should have been more upfront in that briefing. He said, quote, We expect our president to have spoken more boldly to say what the people of Ghana at least have said up till now, unquote. Those vehemently opposed to the bill will disagree. It leaves President de Kufado since the intense, often divisive debate on the bill began. Judith Awuchitando, TV3 News.